I'm inside Boca Cave, Oregon. It's about 9 a.m. Pacific Daylight Saving Time on Friday, September 8, 2018. I'm at the very back, and the whole very back has this ledge that's a big drip waterfall, even though it hasn't rained here in months. So it's really impressive that there's any water here at all, much less there's just so many drips everywhere. It's really cool. Very interesting. Wonder if any like big animals come in here to try to drink it. Maybe I should watch for cougars and bears. Interesting how there's a rock here. So there's like a hole to the left. So it's like the wa I don't know. It created a shadow as the gravel flowed downhill or something. Notice there's a puddle here. I bet this would make another good place for wildlife to drink. So there's looking back at that the back of the cave drip waterfall. It's getting natural light. My own camera's not really doing it justice. Or my own flashlight's not helping that much. So now I'm at the northwest corner of the cave. Notice there's a way up there and then a little ledge. I'm not going to try to climb up there. It's way too steep and slippery for me. So now I'm going to look back towards the entrance again. It's pretty bright, but wow. So that entrance is like 30 feet tall. So in here, I'm thinking it's close to 100 feet tall. Really interesting, but look how rugged the wall is there. Very strange. It's like the mountain just fell apart. Hopefully nobody was in it at the time. <laughs> just kidding. Sure it happened a long time ago. Notice there's a sort of outcropping here. Obviously I'm gonna try to get up there and check it out if I can do that without getting myself hurt or stuck. Wow, the ceiling here is super tall, but notice how it doesn't look green because not enough light gets in here to grow. And of course the rock on the right is red. So let's see if I can get up this outcropping very carefully. It's like at least a foot thick, maybe 18 inches thick. So here we go. Here's a little secret passage back. More moths. Man, there's so many moths here. Let's see if I can get another close up of the moths without disturbing them too badly. Here's a cluster of moths, like four moths there on the wall. 